Good morning, y'all. So, today is week two of me and my little shop hair. <laughs> so, uh, like I promised, I'm going to take you guys through every single wash, deep conditioning, everything I have done to this hair over the next year or so to see where it goes. I've decided to stop uh, coloring it for a while, which... Uh, the coloring isn't giving a problem. I just want to go back to the basics. And I'm ready to get my length back. So, um, today, I'm, and every week I'm going to be washing with something different and telling you why I chose that product to wash with. I, if you are following me, you know that I am back on my little fitness journey, working out every day, five days a week rather. I do spin three times a week, I lift weights twice a week, stretch on the weekends. So my scalp right now is, it's not itchy, thank goodness. I only itch when I'm working out. And it's not extremely flaky like it can get, but it's dirty. Like I can feel it. Like when I scratch, there's shit under my nails. I don't like that. So it's time to give it a good wash, a good deep condition, and I'm going to rod set it to see... Um, that style will last a little bit longer so uh, I'll be back so I'm gonna be shooting this outside the shower while my hair is short uh, probably once it gets pretty long I'll go back to showering washing in the shower but to show you guys it'll be after shower more all right so I am going to be shampooing today with probably I don't know so many of my favorites <laughs> But this is one that I tend to gravitate to the most. There we go. It's a Butterfly PT Whip Shampoo. We've added Cambrian Blue Clay to this for two reasons. Um, for one, it keeps the color very blue and pretty. And two, it gives me a nice little very soft scrub onto the scalp without uh, irritating. So if you have a very uh, sensitive scalp, I am tender-headed, bro then you want to go for something like this where in is and you want to use this one if you are not um extremely like your scalp is not extremely nasty like if it's really nasty then you want to go with the heavier one like Rizul or red moroccan clay um bentonite those three would be awesome for very uh irritated scalp when it's just a light little grime weekly grime then you want to go with something lighter, but something that's going to get it all off too, so. I probably don't have enough water. i just dry some of it off, but y'all saw the amount I used, right? I'm going to cover my entire head with that one little bit of soap, and I will not have to get any more. So you can get several washes out of the jar. It really depends on how short your hair is and being my hair is this length it would take me a while to use all of that i was very surprised at how fast my undercut grew out it took about four months to get to a length where we could cut it even all over and i was happy about that i hope to make this my last time going uh, cutting my hair or growing my hair out I hope to keep it long I hope to be able to have the energy to keep up with it it, it honestly is a relief because I wanted to go back to taking care of my hair but taking care of Gia's hair and my hair at the same time and being everything else, I just did not have the energy. I needed my hair to be quick and easy. And honestly, for a while, I really wasn't caring what my hair looked like. I really was not. I was, I cared about what she looked like, and that was it. And now I'm back on taking care of me, caring about what I look like, caring about my hair being done, just caring about me better. Because I, I, I really, I truly fell off after Aunt passed, and I really fell off after Sirius passed. 
And like right now, it's not a super duper lather because it's dirty. But when I rinse this out and I go for a second, and you should always do a second shampoo, even if your first shampoo is lathery. Like some people might think, oh, that's good and lathered. No, it's not. You need to see a super creamy lather, a lot of soap, and really scrub your scalp to get that grime off. Let's see if, I don't think we covered as well in the back. Y'all yeah, know I got a big knot right here. <laughs> when I first cut my hair, when I first cut my hair, I was a little self-conscious about that knot. But I'm also was in a place where fuck them. Whoever, you know, think it's crazy because look, I'm not responsible for that shit. Some people who raised me did not shape this head well. I ain't got nothing to do with me. As long as that knot ain't something that need to be cut out. So your first wash is really just to get the grind moving and lift it from the scalp. And your second wash is to wash it all out. So do not expect to only wash one time. You need at least two, at least two. I can feel it under my nails. I hate that. See? That crap. That's not soap. That's crud. So I'm going to rinse this out and then we'll come back in with a second shampoo. Alright, we're going to go in for the second shampoo. About the same amount. amount and I'm going to start at the back this time. And rub your hands together. I didn't do that the first time, but rub your Rub the shampoo on your hands so you can get a good coverage. Now watch this mess lather up like crazy because now it's semi-clean and you don't need much. I probably could have half in that amount and still got a, a nice good lather. So I decided I'm going to roller set this. And for roller sets, you want a very, very clean slate. That way your curl comes out nice. Uh, I had decided what I'm going to do. I think maybe I'll do finger coils for the hair that is too short. And... Uh, See if that will blend in with the coils because I I'm going to pull the top ones like this hair that'll be rolled. You'll, you'll see, you'll see, you'll see. Now I can feel my scalp being much cleaner because um, it has like I can feel it. I don't know. It's hard to describe the feeling, but I don't feel the crub crud the crud gathering under my nails and that's what I like let's see what this back looking like it should be thick and creamy could use way less so gonna rinse this out and then i'm gonna follow with uh some conditioner and we're gonna deep condition with the hood confession it's been a long time since i've done this <laughs> I, the last deep condition i did was right before i got those braids for a protein treatment and I always do that before protein treatment so my hair kind of can stay strong over the time period but you're supposed to be deconditioning every day not every day every wash you need to give yourself some time for that to sit in 
and um, depending on how my hair feels, I may or may not rinse it. So we're gonna see. Be right back when we rinse this out. I'm gonna try to pre detangle a little bit with this tangle teaser brush. My sides are always very easy to detangle. But we're gonna see what. With the soap in there. And see, to me, like breaking it up with your fingers, so easy. So easy with the lather thick and nice and creamy. And once you break it up a little bit, then maybe you could go in with the teaser or whatever brush. This is not the brush off of TikTok. But when I'm tired of that brush, I am tired of seeing that people talk about this brush. But this is not it. I got this from Walmart, I think. Come on now, look at that girl. <laughs> do I think the shampoo has a lot to do with that? Yes. Yes, I do, bitch. And I, I'm going to be more patient with my hair this time, more intentional. As I'm getting older, I know it eventually will get weaker, but if I can prevent some of that, I am. Let me break it up. See how that, man, it breaks up so easy with the shampoo. Just a little finger to tangle. I have to tell myself, that's so sad. <laughs> this last little section then we're gonna 
squeeze it out. My short hair is so easy to detangle. Bryce's long hair, and I think I'm going to truly miss these days. I don't want to enjoy them now. I think it's super clean now. So we're gonna rinse this out and I'm going to deep condition and roll it. I'll be back. I should be using a towel, you should too, to dry t-shirts, being that they're not terry cloth, they're not already super duper rough. They're not doing as much damage as terry cloth does to the to the to the cuticles to your follicles, not cuticles. Um, the roughness of it just makes the strands itself themselves rough. And that's not what you want. So now, got water everywhere. All right, the scratch test to see if it's really clean. It would feel so clean. I should not have any gunk under my nails. None. I don't know if y'all can see, but no gunk. That's what you want. Okay. Now, I'm going to deep condition with the Butterfly PT conditioner. Now, this is one of our conditioners that's only made with coconut oil and coconut milk. There's no shea butter in this one, which to me makes a much better... Uh, Conditioner for those with very fine curls that usually if they use a shea butter based product, it's going to weigh it down and you don't want your curls to be weighed down. You want them to be nice and fluffy. So you want to go with something with a lighter type of uh, moisture or sealant oil in it, which for me is... This one. Don't I need I needed clips. That's what I was looking for. And I'm gonna comb it out. It's already pre-detangled some, so this part should be extremely easy. Yes. That's how I need it to go. Man, we said we'd stay like that. <laughs> Look at the difference. Isn't that crazy?
gonna get all around the bottom where it's super short. And that don't really tangle yet. It's just too short to tangle. But it still needs some conditioner. A little bit more. And you see, let me see. I didn't use, oh, you really can't tell, but I didn't use that much. I had a lot of people complain to me about the size of the product, and I'm like, you've got to be heavy-handed, baby. Unless you're youngin' or you got some extremely long hair. dry up in there. Now, lots of people say, should not put conditioner on your scalp. I don't directly put it on the scalp, but I'm not going to be foolish enough to say that it's none on the scalp when it's got to be. <laughs> it's going to be. Uh, and this is why you wash your hair weekly. You don't let it just sit in there forever. You let it do its job for a week, and then you wash and begin again. Because if you let the buildup from just being outside, being alive, walking around your house, plus a conditioner on your scalp, that's what caused the irritation, is not shampooing weekly. So, kill the co-washing, shampoo every week, do conditioner every week. So, about to get out of the dryer with a shower cap, and I'll be back. Alright, so, we've done 20 minutes. Under the dryer, it's dumb soft, very, very, very soft. So I think I'm going to leave this in. Yeah, I'm going to leave this in as my styler. So um, the only other thing I'm going to be using is this. Yeah, remember the lock gel? This is not going to be a lock gel. <laughs> I'm going to use this to do the finger coils, and it's going to keep them extremely uh, defined. So, be right back. All right. Let's see what we can do with this little shower hair. So... So I'm just going to take tiny pieces and coil them. Like, that's it, all the way around. So, I'll be back. So, what that look, about, look like back there? Can you see a difference? Versus this side, I'm on this section. Let's see. Yeah, it's, it's, it's cold back there. It's hard to know when you can't see what you're doing. It's just going for touch, but I'm gonna finish and I'll be back. All right, I'm on the last little section right here. It didn't really take me that long to do either. Maybe 10 minutes. I 
I'm not sure what this is gonna look like with these curls up top. I'm truly just trying to something. Cause I got the time to. And then I'm gonna make time to play in my hair and love on it and style it. Instead of just letting it be. Cause that's what I've spent like the last couple of years letting it be. And I don't wanna do that anymore. But I know one thing, this honey hair gel is going to hold these. Like it's a lot of honey in there. And if you know honey is sticky and honey is hard when it dries. And honey makes an excellent humectant that prevents frizzing. So let me do that little section over. I don't expect these to frizz. We're gonna see what a week of working out. And being outside, because well, the weather's nice here in Mississippi, baby. I'm outside. I like being out the door. Okay, those are the little curls all the way around. So now we're going to roll this top. All right, so all rolled up. I'm just sitting in the dryer. Probably look a mess back there. <laughs> Can't see back there. My freaking arms are killing me from this week's workout. Bro. I'm so sore. It's ridiculous. Could barely do this so we're gonna send the dryer i'm gonna do 45 minutes to see if that'll do it if not we'll go a little longer till it's completely dry and i'll show you all right so we just did 45 minutes under the dryer i'm gonna check out one of the thickest pieces i guess that's dry we're gonna take them all out Okay, so before I pull these out, I'm going to sit in the dryer for about 15 more minutes. It's just still, like, slightly itty-bitty damp. So, we're going to dry that up, and I'll be back. Alright, so I think it's all dry now. I'm not sure how this is going to turn out, because it's so hard to roll this with short hair. I just put a little oil on my fingers to reduce frizz. All right, so I'm gonna pull all this apart and I'll be back. <sighs> this is what I'm coming up with. <laughs> I still don't think it got dry in some spots, but it's gonna have to do. Give it a little volume. This is gonna have to work. I don't, like it's, I have this thing where my hair pushed back that changes everything. And then when it's just loose, it, I don't know, it looks funny to me. I don't know. It's shop hair. And that's what we're dealing with right now. So, but it's very soft. It feels extremely light. I feel ball headed. It feels so light. But that's how I like it. That's how I know it's good and clean. And it's light and airy. And we're going to see if this lasts a good week. So that's it, baby dolls. See, I need... I can't help it. I have to pin it back.
Like, don't that make all the difference? I'm going to pick it. Right now we can... Fluff up the top more. That's it, y'all. I'm going to quit fooling with it before I fuck around and mess it up. But that's it. I don't know what that bag looks like. I'm going to look at it. On the camera. If there's anything else I need to do to it, but that's it. And we're finished. Thank y'all for watching. And I plan on doing this every week. Next week, I'll probably just do a wash and go. Not do all this curling because baby when I tell you my arms are killing me. They are killing me. But that's it. You guys enjoy the rest of your Sunday. I'm gonna get around here and get some work done. And try to get done early so I can enjoy some me time. Y'all be good. Have a happy Sunday and happy weekend. See you next week.